welcome back. Today we are discussing week four of the 52 week organizing challenge. And this week we will be focusing on our bills and budget. This is an area I really wanted to focus on this year because we have some savings goals and financial goals that we're trying to meet as a family this year. So I really wanted to redesign how we are keeping track of our spending and just our budget overall. So I'm going to show you how I've organized our bills and budget today. Okay, so in our filing system, I just have a section for each month of the year and in that section I have a folder for bills. So most of our bills gets taken out automatically from our checking account. However, there are some paper statements that we still receive. So those statements will go right into this bill file according to which month they're due in. Once they're due, I just mark it paid and if there's any sort of um, reference number that goes along with that or confirmation number, I mark that as well. And then if I need that statement for something, I can just look back to the month that it belongs in and pull okay, it out. So in my planner, I have a plum paper planner and I got this add on. It's just a bill um, checklist. So what I do is I write down all of our bills that are due for that month, the due date, which in there due, how much it's due and any notes for them. Once the bill has been taken out of our checking account, because like I said, we have a lot of um, automatic withdrawals set up for our bills. So once that has been taken out of our checking account, I just check it off as paid. So that way I can keep track at a quick glance of what needs to be paid still, what has been paid, and if for some reason um, it wasn't taken out of our checking account and should be, I know to contact the that per, um, I know to contact them and make sure that we are all set with bills. Um, now on the other side, there's another sheet of this. So this is where I keep track of my daycare income. I have um, a home daycare and sometimes the payments um, vary week to week. So I like to just keep track of who it was that paid me, how much, or the date that they paid me, how much they paid me, and any notes. Um, and then again, I just check it off once it's been paid, and it's just, again, a really quick reference to see who has paid what, how much they owe, um, and all of that. Now, in my monthly view, I'm not going to show you the actual um, numbers because it's a little bit personal, but my husband gets paid every other Friday. So what I do is I mark down which bills are going to be taken out of those paychecks. It just helps me budget better. Um, it helps me decide and figure out how much we can put into savings and all of that and just give me a visual. So that way when I'm planning, I know that on you know April 1st, let's say, I can look at all of the bills that are supposed to be taken out on that day, make sure they were taken out and um, budget for the next few weeks. All right, so this is the part that I've really been working on a lot um, recently was this, it's actually a personal size color crush planner and I am converting this into my wallet. Um, I really wanted a better system of tracking our money and I feel like we sort of have set up, it's almost like a cash envelope system. We have definitely tweaked it a bit to work for us. We don't follow the Dave Ramsey system. I think it's a great system. I don't have anything negative to say about it. I just think this way is working best for our family right now. Um, so I'll just show you quickly how I have set up this Color Crush Planner as my wallet. So over here, I just have a few sticky notes. I usually keep receipts in this pocket. I keep my checkbook over here. And then it just has a little um, fly leaf and dashboard. Um, and then I made these uh, dividers. I just actually used photo paper and printed off um, some digital paper from Etsy. If I can remember the store that I bought it from, I will leave it linked below. But the first section, I just have this top loading envelope here and all of my checks in cash that I need to deposit from my daycare money gets put in here. So that way I know exactly how much needs to be brought to the bank. It's not getting lost. It's all in one spot. The second and third sections, I just took it out for privacy reasons. I have card holders. Um, the first section is all of my uh, debit cards and store loyalty cards. And then this third section has all of our insurance cards in it. Um, then we get into the cash envelopes. Okay, so the, for the cash envelopes, all I did was I just used regular size envelopes. 
um, just had a strip of washi down the side just to reinforce the edges and then just punched it into here. It's working out really well for now. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on setting this up because we're trying to save money this year. So this was just the best I could do. Um, and then I obviously have the labels up here, which I just made from uh, my label maker. So I have only a few different categories in here. Like I said, this is totally a system that my husband and I sort of thought up and it's just working best for us right now. Um, so we have a category for groceries, Walmart, because that's where we buy all of our household goods and paper goods, um, gas for my husband, gas for myself, spending for my husband, spending for myself, an envelope for the kids, an envelope for vacation and an envelope okay, for Christmas. Okay, so how we set up our envelopes. Basically, we have we use cash for groceries, for Walmart, for our spending. For gas, we do use our debit card. So what we do is we do it by week every single week. So each week I take out a certain amount for groceries. I take out a certain amount for Walmart, for gas, for spending, so on and so forth. And um then I write down the starting balance on the sticky note. When I go to the grocery store and you know after I spend X amount, I subtract it from the starting balance. That way I have a running ledger of how much we have. Each week I just take off the old sticky note and start new with our um, new remaining balance or balance. Um, so if there are if there is money left over from the week before, I add that to the weekly budget that we have. Um, and then for gas, I just basically keep track of how much we're spending. So we have a set budget for gas and I just deduct on here as we spend it because it's just not practical for us to go in and out of the gas station with the kids. It's just a lot harder to pay with cash. So we do use our debit card for that. For the kids, vacation and Christmas. These are actually envelopes that we add to. So we do not deduct from these necessarily. Kids we do, but we have a set amount for the kids each week that we put into their envelope. We wait until it gets to a certain point and then we make a deposit in their accounts. Um, we keep some cash on us for allowance and that sort of thing. And we deposit a certain amount each month for activities. So again, I keep a running ledger of how much, um, you know, we paid them for, uh, allowance, how much we had to take out for activities, um, that sort of thing. And it just keeps a running balance on here. So that way I know at a quick glance, how much money we're dealing with for the kids budget. As for vacation and Christmas, we do things, we're do doing things a bit differently this year. We typically have not set up a specific budget for vacation and Christmas. Um, and this year, we want to try to plan ahead a little bit. So what we're doing is with all of the change that we get, um, you know, when we break change, we are going to put it into a big bucket. Once that bucket is full, we're going to take it to the bank um, and we are going to get cash um, for it and basically divide it in two. So we'll have half of that cash goes into our vacation fund, half of it goes into Christmas fund. And again, I'm just using the sticky note as a running ledger of how much money we have in each account. Um, so we're not necessarily keeping the cash on us for these two. It's just easier for me to do it, um, to deposit into our bank account. So that way we don't have a large amount of cash on me. Um, but I think that this is going to help us really keep track of our spending and really hold us accountable for it. Because if we see, okay, we only have $25 left with our grocery fund this week, maybe we shouldn't you know, go out to this restaurant or let's see if we can just make a meal at home so we don't go over budget or same thing with spending. I think we're less likely to spend on foolish things if we can see exactly how much money we're working with each week. Before last year, again, we just didn't really have a set budget for spending. So I think this is going to help us out tremendously. And the last section is for coupons. So I did, again, just the same thing that I did with the um, with the cash envelopes. I just used the same envelopes and the same type of system. I'm not a, a big couponer. Um, but if there is a coupon that I receive and it's something that I know we're going to use, I will clip the coupon and put them into one of the categories. So we have a category for food, drinks, hygiene, medications, 
and then miscellaneous. So I'm going to be using these sticky notes to sort of look through the coupons and have a running list of when they expire so that way I know when I'm at the store I need to use those coupons before they expire. And that's it. That's how I have this wallet set up. There is a little list pad in the back as well. Um, it's really I just started using it. So right now it's working out well. Um, I like having the different sections. I think it's going to help us stay organized. And even though we're not doing a traditional cash envelope system, I think this system will work for us. So I will do an update in a few months and let you know how it's working um, and that sort of thing. But that is how we are organizing our bills and budget this year. Um, I would love to hear your ideas because this is definitely something I'm interested in this year is just really working on our budget and finding what works for us. So thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to hear all of your wonderful ideas on how you organize your bills and your budget. Thanks so much for watching guys.